I was not really interested in the limelight at all, at all. While my children were still in school, I was the chair of the California Democratic Party, which is a volunteer position. You can control your time and this or that. And you're sort of in the background showcasing others. And then just a very serendipitously, perhaps, I was asked to run for Congress, which I had not ever considered doing. When I asked my daughter, Alexandra, who would be going into senior year, uh, what she thought of that, I would love to stay home with her. One more year would be better. And she said, Mother, get a life. <laughs> I'd never heard that expression before. That's 27 years ago. So, uh, well, I did. I mean, I had a life, but I got a congressional life. There are still so few women in the political arena. The numbers of, of women in elected positions uh, remains incredibly anemic. Why do you think more women don't raise their hands to go into political life? Well, we have to change that. And one of the things I say is if we reduce the role of money in politics and increase the level of civility, we will attract more women into political, the political arena, and that will be very wholesome for our country. Uh, the, uh, it's not for the faint of heart. It's very difficult. Women have so many options these days, and we want them to consider public service an option. Whether they run for office or appointed to office or support others, uh, it's really important for women to play a leadership role. I'm optimistic that it will only get better. For women in Washington, though, there's often double standards in terms of yeah. the critiques, in terms of what people emphasize right. and focus on. Describe that scenario for women in political life and how you navigated conversations where people are talking about policy, everything from policy to, to your pantsuits. What, what is that like for you? <laughs> well, it, it, you know, it, I, I, you just have to stay focused on what is important. And yes, people are co coming on your hair, your jewelry, your clothes, whatever, uh, uh, but that is truly not important. Uh, what's important is for women to have standing on issues where their judgment is respected, and that springs from knowledge that, uh, that we bring uh, to any of the issues that we're uh, dealing with and the specialties that we focus on. Uh, but I think that it's only going to get better and better the more people get used to women in leadership roles. Thank you very much. And tonight I have the high privilege and distinct honor of my own as the first president to begin the State of the Union message with these words, Madam Speaker. I mean, to become the Speaker of the House was a very big deal, probably not fully realized by most people in the public because they don't know what the Speaker is. But it's President, Vice President, Speaker of the House, the third highest position in the land. And once you get that position, People don't care about your clothes or anything else anymore. <laughs> They're more interested in what your decisions are going to be. You're in a position where you're in the public eye all the time. Yeah. Uh, no shortage of, of people commenting both yeah. favorably and negatively on all that you do. How did you develop your thick skin and what still affects you personally? Well, what I tell uh, people is that if, if, you, if you, you have a vision of what you believe in and what you'd like to see done, uh, respectful of other shared vision as well. You become knowledgeable on what you want to achieve. You have good judgment about those decisions. You have a plan. You think in a strategic way. You have the vision, the knowledge and judgment, the plan, and you will attract support. The more effective you are, the more criticism you <laughs> attract because there are other views that may want to, shall we say, knock you down. But you really cannot pay attention to that. That goes with the territory. You're in the arena. You've gone in there to make a difference. And if you just want to be milk toast and not attract criticism or support, well, that's your choice. But if you're there, as I suspect most women would be, to make a difference, you can, you can be sure that you will attract support, support and criticism. But for all the criticism you get, you get more support. So it's, a, it's okay. 